What's up everybody, Sizdog here for Nostalgia Button. In today's video, I'm heading to Comicsbo in Burwood East here in Melbourne, Victoria. I'm not selling any wares today. See, the van is completely empty. Um, so hopefully I'll pick up a couple of new pieces for the collection. We'll see what's on offer today at Comicsbo. Keep watching, see what happens. Here we go. You've still got those Austin Powers Yeah, it's just baby. waiting for you, yeah. <laughs> I, he, people keep wanting to buy them and I say no, they're for Sizzle. Yeah, 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 he needs like another five versions of the same figure. He doesn't have a clear <laughs> list of It is fat so bastard. clear though, it's way clearer than the one that I had. Yeah, oh look, goodness. upgrade time. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that TMNT collector case. That's cool, that's the Australian one. Wow. Set licensing, pretty cool. That is extra cool. Fantastic. And you've got Paige here with um, with Vince McMahon's body. Is it Vince McMahon? Yeah. It's either Vince or... I, I didn't do it. All I'll say is I didn't do it. Somebody did it. And look, you've got Goldust just chilling. Look at him. He loves life. Bumped into Rob again here at uh, where are we? Comics boat today. I don't know somewhere. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't had my coffee yet, mate. Don't ask me. Don't ask me tough questions. Look at this. Justice League of America, graded 6.0, and that's going to go behind uh, some of your figure collection. Yeah. When you come over, you're going to have to hopefully have it all set up. And uh, yeah. Now look at that. Too What's the other one? Too many ideas and not enough money. Ooh. Hello everyone, oh, this is me off the back again, Alex speaking. If you have uh, you have half an hour left for the Cosplay Comp sign-ups, they start at 12.30, sign-ups finish at 12. There's a gold coin donation or a dollar on the card, whatever you wish. to go for a ride with the Muppet Babies. Each one comes with a push toy different Muppet Babies can share. You get a different one each week when you buy McDonald's Happy Meal. You can collect all four Muppet Babies at McDonald's. What on earth? Wow. It's the droid from Empire Strikes Back. You all right? Why are you still here? I'm your master, You got your clearance to leave. Sorry, I'll leave. He gets blasted. Poor bloke. What's his name? 
K3PO. Oh, real inventive, Lucas. <laughs> $1 Comtech Reader chips. Bargain, you got Padme here, Qui-Gon Jinn. We've got old mate Chancellor, Valorum. No, no, that's Palpatine. And uh, Qui-Gon again. Two different Qui-Gons. Oh, and who's this? Oh, that's a protocol droid from the start of the film. Listen, the explosive words and sounds of the Star Wars Comtech system. Imagine yourself in the movie. I sense a disturbance in the Force. May the Force be with you. You join us. You will be a Jedi, I promise. You have been well trained. You haven't experienced Star Wars until you've experienced Comtech. Figures come with chips, readers sold separately, batteries not included. It's your universe. Love it. Yeah, right. I was trying to work out what they were at one stage. Oh yeah, they're the Comtech reader chips from right. the episode one figures. And they came with um They came with some of these figures. Yeah, they came it? with those yeah. with those toys, yeah. Okay, awesome. Super cool. It is a time when those who control the magic control destiny. When spectral knights battle evil darkling lords. They're attacking! Use your mind control power! They've stolen it! Now I'll control their minds! And my magical power will shake the earth! Visionaries from Hasbro. Couple of Migos, we've got a Migo Batman. <laughs> Looking dashing as always. An Amigo Robin. Old oh, mate, he's missing his glove. He's only got one glove. Oh, I remember these. I definitely had a Batmobile. Hot Wheels car as a kid. Look at that. Star Wars Cup. Number four of eight. Wow. Oh, Enduro. How did I miss that? Look at that. I played this so much. Enduro for the Atari 2600. Can, can you, you, you endure? You, you, enduro. Designed by Larry Miller for Activision. For the Atari. 15 bucks. That is sick. Look at that. There's a 
Right, so what do we have here, bro? What is this? A show gun? <coughs> oh, it's a it's a row gun. A row gun. I think it's a kind of GoBot. But uh, <laughs> I had one as a kid, but uh, I broke it when I was transforming it. Oh but no! Essentially, it's a gun, but it's a robot. And how does it transform? Do you remember? You if don't I, want to break I, it. I don't, I don't want to break it, mate. <laughs> if I try and transform this thing, it's going to explode. So. Uh, <laughs> I might just have to buy it. It's super cool, man. It is super cool. This wow. is the this is the thing that I always remember. It looks like a Tie Fighter. It does look like a Tie Fighter. Yeah. It's very similar. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. It's tempting. I'm sure Phil will do you a deal. I'll get that off camera, but we'll see if, it, if we, a deal is being made here at Comics Co. I think we might have to do something here. Here we go. All right, we figured it out. We know how to make it into a gun. We certainly do. We're going to see it unfold before our eyes. Look at that. Look at that. That is a gun and a robot in one. All that's left is to uh, do some damage. This is years before the Decepticons, before Old Mate turned into a gun. Right. Remember that one? Yeah. Oh, Megatron. Oh, Megatron, yeah. yeah. This is the first Megatron. It's better and better. All right, we've now discovered that it's actually a cap gun. Look at that. It's a cap gun. A cap gun as well. This is the toy of your dreams, bro. It just gets better and better with every, with every passing second. I have to buy it now. Yeah. You have, have to, to buy, buy it. it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Look at that. Incredible. All right. It's like a dream come true. <laughs>
of Borg. She is going to assimilate all of us in the snap of her finger. Oh my gosh. I've extracted 82% of the Borg hardware. The remaining bio implants are stable and better than anything I could synthesize at such short notice. It is acceptable. Fashion, of course, is hardly my forte. Nevertheless, I've managed to balance functionality and aesthetics in a pleasing enough manner. I also took the liberty of stimulating your hair follicles. A vicarious experience for me, as you might imagine. She even comes with her um, charging station. She does. <laughs> wow, look at all these tricorders. Is this latinum? Yes. Oh my god, I've never seen latinum in person before. Then it's mine. All mine. What you are about to hear is the most beautiful sound in the galaxy. Oh, that, that can't be. There's, there's no latinum in these bricks. What? Someone's extracted all the latinum! There's nothing here but worthless gold. And it's all yours. <laughs> no! 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 Wow. It's very light, unfortunately. It's quite light, isn't it? Yeah. I assume latinum would be a lot heavier. <laughs> Fantastic, and it looks like a next generation tricorder right there. Look at that, that's how they flip it, like that, boom. Amazing. Wow, so cool. Came and bought Donno Sammy off me today. That's awesome. Oh, you got the one, two, three cube. Can I have a closer look at that? This is incredible, man. We've got mint on card. The one, two, three kid, the green card Hasbro, in the flesh. Look at that. I've never seen this in person. This is blowing my mind. Look at that, and he's, and he's got those shaved off eyebrows. <laughs> Which apparently was um, a stitch up. Yeah, it was a gag. It was a, it was, he, he, poor bloke got his eyebrows shaved. <laughs> Yeah, and then they had the photo shoot the next day, and the poor bloke. It's not really obvious until you this. No eyebrows. <laughs> Reminds me of like an old school wrestling LJN figure. Don't you, <laughs> don't you think? Look at that. Yeah, definitely. It really does. Yeah, right. Like a similar pose and everything. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. There she is, slaying those vampires. C3PO. Is that a money box? What is that? 
It was a um, premium at uh, Village, and your popcorn went in the back. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. It opens up at the back. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Batman Returns, the game. Uh, 18. The 007's car. Always reminded me of the DeLorean, this one. Captain Action. Look at that. We've got Power of the Force X Wing. Love the box art. Custom Batmobile. Look at him. Got these awesome Deep Space Nine figures. We've got Morn on card. Gul Dukat. We also have John Everyman, Chief Miles O'Brien, and of course, Quark. Welcome to the promenade. Humble Quark at your service. Behold, Star Trek Deep Space Nine action figures. Commander Benjamin Sisko, he helps me run the station. And Security Chief Odo, very strict and sneaky for someone so honest. Here's Lieutenant Dax, and Chief O'Brien, and Major Kira Nerys. I happen to know she's crazy about me. Wonderful, aren't they? Especially this one. So handsome. Pains me to part with it, but if you pay me now... Ah, security. What a pleasant surprise. He's obsessed with that latinum, look at that. Oh yeah. AW rings, AW belts. That's cool. Look at the pain maker, Chris Jericho. That we've got Chuck Taylor. Chris Statlander. Oh man. Tempted to grab that to grab, buy it loose, to get it get it loose. And then another Chuck Taylor. So cool. Seriously, I can't go past this figure. This is just the best figure from the last few years. It is just amazing. I love it. So cool. Marvel Legends. Lots of different series here. JJJ. Look at that head scan. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my goodness. I've never seen these before. These are Garbage Pal Kids, but WWE inspired. So here's Ra Savage Randy, and there's Gigantic Andre as well. In the same kind of artwork as Garbage. Oh, look at that. There's the artwork on the side. That is wild. And there's like a classic Joe Blow Garbage Pal Kid at the side there. Razor Crest, Lego Star Wars, all the way at the top. Giving it away. 
Make sure you head to Instagram for your chance to win that. What's the price on that? Two sixty nine. Can't even see it. So high they don't want anyone getting at it. <laughs> G'day everyone, Sizdog here to finish up the vlog for today. I went to the Comic Expo, uh, comic book and toy convention today out there in uh, Burwood East and um, bought a few things. So I thought I might as well just finish off the vlog today to show you all the pickups that I got from the, uh, from the day. So I picked up this Fright Features Peter Binkman. Um, he's not complete, he is missing one half of his ghost companion. So it came in like a two-parter, and so half of it's missing. But um, I, I picked that one up. I also picked up an Egon Neutrona wand, or proton pack with blaster. Um, it's got one little imperfection. It's missing the, uh, well not missing, it's just chip. But this is quite common with those. But, but the, the main thing is the wand still works. So look at that, that's so cool. Um, I also got this random um, Screaming Heroes uh, accessory and a Screaming Heroes Pete Vinkman. There it is there. And so the gimmick with this is you put it in his chest, the, um, the ghost, and you wind up his, you wind up his, his arms. Keep winding. Then you press the button on his back, and oh, press the button! Oh! <laughs> and he's screaming. I think it makes a noise too. I, I have one, the Janine one, makes a noise, but it's still fantastic. Let's do it again. You wind him up. Oh, okay. Here we go. No. No. Oh, <laughs> do it! Yeah, <laughs> there it is. So, so cool. That one hits my. I mean, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. I never had any of these like fright features, screaming heroes as a kid. Um, but as an adult collector, super cool to get that into the collection. Um, I already do have this one, but I have it mint on card. So that's why I know that he's missing. Now that I got it home. I can see he's missing that other half, but you know, if I can just get find that little ghost, if anyone's got that little ghost out there, that would complete my my loose Pete Vinkman um, haunt uh, fright features. So that was what first little haul I got. What else did I get today at the Comic Expo? Oh, Phil came through with the goods. Enduro, ten bucks, took five bucks off it for me. Look at that, what a champion! Cla old school clamshell case. Um, and if you open it up, the game's in there as well. Super, super cool. Um, I don't have an Atari anymore, but it makes me want to get one so I could play this again, because this is the video game I remember playing first and the most as a kid, because this was like the height of technology. Look at that graphics. <laughs> um, what else did I pick up? Oh, I got a couple of little gifts for the family. So I got Cordelia a little Pinkie Pie badge, boom. I got Miss Vivian a Rarity badge, boom. And I got Danielle a Bib Fortuna badge. <laughs> she was not impressed. <laughs> uh, what else did I get? Uh, little Vivian is into these books at the moment. That's uh, her reading um, grade at the moment, Ella book. So I grabbed that for her and a couple of My Little Pony colouring books. Um, and Cordy was so excited, she's already coloured in the first the first page. How sweet is that for the kids? Um, and then, lastly, um, I got this. Now this, I was just flipping through this at the stall, and the stall holder just said, oh look, just take it Dave, you can have that. Uh, I'd already bought the Screaming Hero stuff off him, so it was very sweet of him to um, include that in my purchase today. And the cool thing about it is like some of them are actually colored in, um, which I think just adds more charm, you know, look. And it's so random, like some kid just decided to go rogue <laughs> with the coloring in choices. <laughs> so fantastic. Return of the Jedi with um, the, the band there on the front. 
As I was heading home from Comic Expo today, I had to go do a bit of a Macca's run because I was a bit hungry. And then as I was doing a U-turn, I was on the Maroondah Highway and there was a toy mate. And we don't have a toy mate in Epping. So I'm like, well, I've got to stop there. Sure enough, 12 bucks. Black Series Mandalorian with Baby Yoda. Uh, oh, Grogu, sorry. And um, and it's the episode where he goes to get that that thing, I think, for the Tusken Raiders in the first season. Um, or maybe it was for the Jawas. It was for the Jawas, wasn't it? And he's covered in all the mud. But for twelve dollars, all day long. And that'll go with my other two Black Series um, Mandalorian figures. So very excited to pick that up, especially for twelve bucks. What a bargain! Um, and that's everything. So I just wanted to finish the vlog just to um, go over the the giveaway that's happening right now over on Instagram. If you are a subscriber already, thank you so much. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Um, we're on, we're at 580 subscribers, and hopefully more by the time this uh, video drops. But um, I'll be giving this away in the next coming weeks. So please uh, get in your entries. You get Lego Star Wars: A Skywalker Saga on PS5. Sponsored by Trippy Trades, great guys down there in Thomastown. And um, I went ahead and grabbed this to give away. So yeah, the Lego Razor Crest. Someone will be winning this on the 22nd of March. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much, Nostalgia Buttoners. If you did like this video, um, hit the like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Only one last thing to do. And give this guy one more go. Get in there, Pete. This is such great content. <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> See you, buttoners. What you got this week? Did you get some toys instead of the groceries? I wanted this since I was a kid. Now I live in a box, but at least I chased the dream. I gotta intercept that package. All my wife will leave me, and I'll end up on the street. It's down.